Nevada State. You were also criminally trespassed over the phone. I asked an officer to come here last night to do a check-in because I'm worried they're in danger. But you and came over here after being told that you were criminally trespassed. But I have an agreement from, saying that from this residence, correct? But my order says that it's my time with my kids. They're supposed to be in Arizona. My you husband's were, kept them you out were of school. Trespassed from this location. I just need my kids, and no. you're welcome to look at this order. They've been out of state, out of school, and my husband's We're, lied to everybody. I'm sure he lied to the cop last night. So been, this is my we've order. We've been in contact with... Do you have a victim's advocate I can speak to in the police department, please? Okay. Right, Melanie, so where did you get this order from? So this is our um, mediation order. Okay. I also have another copy of the original um, copy of the court. Um, this is my time with the kids. My husband's been hiding with them over a month out of yeah, state. We talked to you the other day, right? Yes. So and I asked for somebody you, uh, to come in and okay. check in on them to just make sure they're safe because uh -huh. my husband will or my ex-husband will not talk to me. So we told um, you they were safe yesterday, right? On the phone, we said, we said that we on, saw on the phone, the but kids. they are supposed to be in my custody right now. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. There's no. Okay. Hey, not. hey. Right now, we're working through something else. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's lied inside, to we'll everyone saying he has, okay. he said he's had a protection order against them and there was nothing, I've not, never been served with anything. Um, so, he's, he's lied to everybody and he kind of so does what, this. So what were you wanting to happen tonight coming over here? Were you going to try to take the kids away from them or what's I'm going not, on? No, I'm not taking, I'm just trying to show that I was going to bring this copy to them and say this is my time with the kids. Okay. He's had them out of state and he's been lying to, everyone's protecting them, like I know they're nice people. My in-laws are nice people, but they've been lied to, saying that there's a protection order in place, and there isn't. My kids are, I'm worried they're in danger, because I, I, my husband's been doing a lot of things that cause me to worry. Um, he says he was shot at a month ago, um, and then he went into hiding, and no one in Arizona has seen him for weeks or my children, and he kept them out for over a month with truant absences. I asked an officer to just come over here last night to just make sure they're safe. And he said, I can't do a, a welfare check or a wellness check So did for you not hear me when I, 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 I was talking, we were talking to you on the phone the other day and said, we came here because you were here. We came here, we checked on the kids, they were Are you okay. About yesterday or yeah. the day before? The day yeah. before. The day before. I heard, so, and I had to call in because I didn't know if that was, I just heard something on speaker. I didn't hear everything I heard that if I, it wasn't super clear. And so I called in the next day and I said, can you, because. I don't want to have to go over there again. Can you send an officer to come but check you in? came over here anyways when we told you that you well, were trespassed a, from the, well, It doesn't matter, legal, right? Well, my children are inside, and they're that, probably right? in danger. They're, they're probably in danger. You know that for sure. Like, Well, I know what my ex is capable of, and he sent. He has a lot of evil people working with him. So I just I just wanted to make sure my kids were safe last night. And so, the officer So do you think So this I need was to speak to a right, victim's advocate. Okay. I'm just, but you're, you were trespassed, correct? You remember that on the phone? I I asked you if you understood. You said that you did. So okay. So you understand you're trespassed, right? Yes, but I believe with my order, I can come and just get my job. Nope. Not going nope. in. Nope. No, that's going that's into the house. Nope. Just you're trespassed in. from the property. You being on the lawn right now is a violation of that trespass. Well, I can get off. Well, it doesn't just really matter no, no. now. I'm I'm not trying to barge into their house or to run and take my. Kid. I'm just trying to be peacefully trying to do what's right and what's in my order. Is this an order from Arizona? Yes, it is. There? They're illegally out of state right now. Like, they, he's keeping them out of school for over a month. I've been searching for them. I don't know what else to do. I asked someone to just come over and see if they're safe okay. last night. And they, Carlson probably scared them off saying there's a protection store and there's no protection store. We can go and look everything up right now. Okay. I haven't seen or talked to my kids. I have a two-year-old, four-year-old, a six-year-old. And a nine-year-old, and they haven't seen their mom for over, and I, my husband's been doing drugs, and he's... Well, this is probably not the best way to go about it, right? To come here and try to... I tried asking if an officer could just I make sure they're that. safe. And we told you but they I, were I was safe, told, right? I have a mediation, I have this court order saying it's my time with the kids. If I know where they're at, I can go and get them. No, so, so you can't come over here and forcefully take them. Not forcefully, uh, I'm just knocking, saying... And we can't come over here I and forcefully I'm just going to get them an order them because out, I know right? they've been lied to, saying okay. there's a, a well, protection order. That's something that you're going to have to take up with the courts, right? Like we told you the other day, you're gonna have so to go to. I the don't course. know if they're safe, and I feel like they're in danger. We can go in there and check and see if they're safe, if and then can, we can come sir. back here and we can tell you sir, they're you safe. Can. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, we can go in there, 
check if they're safe, but we already trespassed you from this property saying you can't come back here. And what did you do? You came back here. And it doesn't matter if you got this piece of paper. We told you not to come back here, and you come back here, and you're upsetting everybody, and now it's just a whole freaking problem. So your whole thing is here is you, you want to come here and check if they're safe? You want a welfare check on them? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah, so that's another problem, right? So this is a whole this is a whole civil problem. This is a whole court thing, okay? Because even if you do come here with these papers and say, yep, it's my time, they're not giving them back to me, then the only thing you got to do is go to the courts and you got to say, hey, listen, if the, these are signed by a judge down there in the court or whatever, he can say, you know what, this is your time. Let's get this back in court. Let's have him come back to court. Let's do this. Then... We can give you a report able, number, and sir, we can stop talking, take... stop talking, okay, I'm explaining some things, yes, okay? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I am, sir. So this isn't the, this isn't the best way to go about things. Yes, sir. You can bring up everything to the judge, you think he's doing drugs, and that he's been getting shot at, and that it's not a safe environment for your kids. Yes, but what you can't do is come to a place where you've been trespassed. So now there's a bigger problem here because we trespassed you and you weren't supposed to be on here and you're causing alarm to them and everything like that. Who's your judge down there? You don't know your judge? Who signed your papers? Where'd you even get these papers from? Do you live in Arizona? Yes, sir. Was this done in mediation or in court? Because I don't see anything. It's a that, court ordered. So I don't I see have, anything signed by a that's judge. That's what I was looking I at. I have the, the copy with more signatures if you want to see that. This was just for them. I was just bringing them to them because I know they've been monitored. This is a mediated settlement agreement, not a court order. Yes, the court mediation was well it, it was if it was legally, done through mediation it's not through the court that just means that you guys sat down with the mediator you agreed on something this is not something that's been enforced by a judge it has sir i have the paperwork in the car so you guys went to court yes, you sat sir. there with a judge, judge yes, made sir. A, a determination um, let's believe, grab that real quick so yes, i can see what kind sir. of judge that and is. i have a What, you don't believe us that we can go in no, there and sir, check I, their well-being, or no, what? I, no, sir, I just, they have tons of cousins over, probably, and I just want to make sure that it's my kids. We'll make sure. We're not here to lie to you or just make sure that your kids are not being no, taken care of. That's a huge no, deal sir, to I, us, I right? I don't think you would lie to me. I just want to make sure. Kids like, are you don't know a big deal. In the state of Utah, kids are a big deal, so, like, you take that thing seriously. So, if we're going to check out the kids' well-being, we're going to do that. We're not just going to tell you that. Okay, have you been back to the court since you've left the state of Arizona? Have you 
36, code 4. Had a question. Were you guys looking at my car as well? Nope, you're good. Oh, okay. You can keep on going, man. Uh, you're good. Yeah, but, uh, to mess around with that.
Okay, cool. So get that shit out of here. Yeah. It's time. It's time. It's time to sight and move on. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But. Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe, and that's not even binding or legal yet. So, quite frankly, it, it, because it hasn't been signed, and it hasn't been submitted by your by your media. Okay. So facts are, facts are. It, no, I don't want to see it. I actually don't want to see it. Facts are, I think you should get a citation right now for trespassing, and then we should move on. Okay. Sure. I haven't really done anything, so. Question, sir? Yeah. Officer? Um, how do you know that it has not been submitted to the court systems? Apparently that's the conversation that your husband had with the mediator. So, so if I pull up the su superior court and it shows record that it has been, that's that's the story he's been telling, sir, but that's not the truth. Okay. I mean, you have an actual record that I says, do, yeah, it's, it's valid right I now? I do, sir. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're not going to get the kids out of here tonight anyway. Sir, I just want to make sure they're safe. They're safe. I just saw all four of them. Do you, yeah, but do you have their pictures? Like, how do you know they're it wasn't safe. a cousin? How do I know it wasn't a cousin? Do you know what their pictures look like? Do I know what their pictures look like? Well, I don't know what the kids look like, but... So how do you know that was them? How do you know that that... There's four kids in there. Because the, the officer right? said that all four what of my it? children... A two, was it a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a nine-year-old? Right? Three boys, one girl? No, two boys, two girls. Two boys, two girls? Sir, the youngest, is there a picture was, was, you can take the, to confirm uh, that Was the youngest two. one a girl? Yes. And then, so that would be your two and your, your four-year-old a girl? No, boy. Boy. Blonde, curly hair, dimples, blue eyes. Yeah, they're up there all that. Is right? there a way that... I'm not going to go start snapping pictures of kids. I okay? just... How, but, there have tons of cousins over there. How do I know that's them? Oh, there's tons them? of cousins over there? Right now, you know for Probably. a fact there's tons of cousins they out there. You're going to argue with me all day. You're not going to win. Okay. Okay? I just would love to speak to a victim's advocate. There's four children in there that are happy and healthy. Okay? So. Two of them are playing Fortnite. The other two are watching Frozen. Is there anything else you want to know? I the just, facts are you just you take their word here. that it's not filed in court? Because I have legal documents saying that it was filed in court and signed by him, by the judge. Fire me to you. So you just take it's right here. I've been trying to show it to you. Doesn't matter. I mean, again, it still doesn't matter. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just well, here. You gotta do whatever I want. I know. <laughs> like, the facts are that. I get it. The facts are is that, like, I'm not just gonna go there and remove the kids from the home. You do whatever you want. So if it was filed on October 22nd. Yes, sir. Why, Why am I here now? Are you here now? Sir, on October 16th, I'm here to file, and then Brandon went into hiding. With my children, they've been out of state for over a month, out of school, and they, I've been looking for them everywhere. Somebody said that they'd seen Brandon, but not the kids, so I don't know if he split them up different places. Their schools, I have unenrolled them now. He's not supposed to take them out of state, and he, he's broken everything. He lied and said that it hasn't been filed, and then he lied and said he has a protection order. There's nothing that has been filed, and we can look it up. I have it on my phone as well, the Superior Court.
So whether or not, I mean, obviously, 36, it, code 4. it may be filed, or it may not be filed, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, but they are safe. But they are safe, and they're taken care of. So we're not just going to go in there and remove them in the house. Even though they're not with the legal guardians. Absolutely. In laws that Absolutely stay not. No way. No way. I mean, you guys got all this other stuff going on. Like, if the kids are safe, we're not going to take them out of the house. It's just that simple. And, furthermore, it, it's, it's a civil problem that we can't do anything about anyway. Does that make sense? Like, this is a custody thing. There's not much we can do with custody. All we can do is document that there's a custodial sure, interference, and that's if it. There, if there's a way to get a picture, just make sure that they're there in the city. I'm not going to go in there and disturb them anymore, okay? They already don't want to see a cop, okay? They don't want to see a cop. If he kept this order, we wouldn't be doing it. All right, but I'm not going to go in there and stir okay. things up even more. I'm their mother, and I haven't I know. talked to them for a long time. I get it. I just let you know for sure they're safe. I don't know if those are cousins over there. Uh, there's nobody else in that house. There's nobody else in the house. So if you're telling me that you you so know for a fact there's 15 people in that house right now having some sort of family get together, you're out of your mind because there's not anybody else in that house. Nobody. Honestly, your best your best option right now is to probably just stay away from here. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up in jail. At some point in time we'll just end up taking you to jail. Okay. Because honestly, that custodial thing, there's like nothing that you can do about it. Nothing. Not a thing. I get that it's sad, but you can't you can't all come over here. One, you've been told not to. Two, you're not kidnapped by their own parents. He has just as much right to them as you do. I would. I got my order and I came back because maybe because it's my time with the kids. You've broken everything in here. Or you can look at this as if they are not to be removed from the state of Arizona.
Alex, you have your ID on your man. <clears throat> Pretty good, dude. Not bad. You guys came all the way from Arizona? No. Oh, where were you coming from? Idaho. Oh, Idaho. That's right. But Do you live in Idaho? Yeah, I just moved up there. From where? From Arizona. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Apparently it was too warm. <laughs> Idaho's a big change. It's, it's a good change. Right. <laughs> All right, here's your ID back, man. Thanks, Thanks Alex. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Well, I'd keep my light out of your face, probably. Yeah. I'm just with everybody here. We can watch her, and then all of a sudden, we're she's like, "Yeah, I got somebody out to." We're like, "Whoa!" <laughs> just let's make sure everybody's safe and okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm not moving. Cool. <laughs>